My name is Situe. This is my grandfather, Te Avesue. We live in the village of Mataudu, Fale Alili, in western Samoa. My grandfather is the head of our family, the Ali'i, and all our work is to serve and support him. He has always served his food first. The rest of us have to wait until he has finished. Once a week, the chiefs and orators from each family meet together to discuss all things about our village. Only the Matai, those who have a title, are inside the Fale at this time. The rest must wait outside. Sometimes a girl such as myself is there at the beginning for the preparation of kava. In olden times this was performed by the Taupo, a virgin girl of the village, who was spoiled with plenty of food and always protected from the sun. Perhaps I am here because there are no large white princesses to be found. My grandfather is the high chief and he doesn't have to speak. All this work is left to his orator, my father, Seupule. My mother, Toipo, has spent most of her life in this village. She has had ten children and I am the oldest one left here. Sue has a large family. When I last counted, there were nearly 40 grandchildren, but some of our relations don't live here now. They have gone to American Samoa, New Zealand, and the United States. Today the Matai will discuss the punishment of two boys found fighting with a knife outside the pastor's house. Sometimes these meetings can last all day. <coughs> Children in Samoa do not have to go to school, but most parents want them to go to have a good education. I make the soccer. I make the soccer. What does it mean? Clear. I make the soccer means the soccer. When I was 17, I passed my final high school examinations. For two years, I have stayed to help my family, but I am thinking that now is the time for me to go to the town of Apia, where I can train to be a nurse. I think this will be the best way for me to serve my family. At 8.30, great performance. Then at 10.30, it's over easy.
Yeah. Over on Channel 4 at 4 o'clock this afternoon, days of our lives. Five and Dr. Yes. Ruta wants my auntie to translate this letter. Dear Ruta, I hope we... I'm sorry, I am not writing to you for a long time. Yeah. Sorry, well, One year ago, a Palangi boy from New Zealand was staying in our village. When he left, he promised to come back to marry her. Our whole family was very happy about this thing. But this is the first time he has even written to her. And I hope you to able to be able to come back as soon as as I have saved up the money. I saw your uncle Mukopo in the street today. You with WVUV. Studio time is 13 minutes after the hour of 12, and the temperature. 37 degrees. Next we have a special dedication and it's going to Tasi and Moana. Oh, wow. <laughs> to tease friends about different boys is a good way to pass the time. <laughs> I think the children of our village have a good life. Sometimes they have to work hard and sometimes they are beaten, but there is also plenty of time for them to play with all their cousins. Sometimes a small child will wander off and sleep in another fale, but nobody is worried. It's been all over me, is love. It's been all over me, is love. Mai le tayao se o mai le tu rafi a pinei o le mato te talolea e ala ya Jesu Kristo lo mato oli malo mato faola. Every evening the pastor's bell is rung and each family goes to its fale for evening prayers. Oi le tu ultima. The worship of God is a very important thing for most people in our village. When the children are still very young, they go to the pastor's school and they are taught many hymns and prayers and stories from the Bible. The pastor and his wife are very important people in the village.
There are many times when my father has to go to court in Apia to speak for our village. This will be a good chance for me to see the people at the hospital. I hope he will let me come with him. Most of our family's food comes from the plantation and all members have to help with the collecting of such food as coconuts and taro. One of my uncles grows enough taro to sell some at the market in Alpia. In Apia, I know that people do not have plantations. They go to the market or to a shop to buy their food. But to do that, you have to have money. And to have money, you have to have a job or marry a rich old man. It's away and it's all right at the hour 12 noon. Take a break, it's lunchtime. Saturday, September 15th. In the pastor's school, we were taught the story of the prodigal son who was welcomed home. I think my uncle must sometimes wonder about that story. For many years, he has lived in his wife's village, but one day he returned to serve my grandfather. But still, he is the son of Suez, who does not hold a title. All the time, he must be humble and work hard and hope one day he will be rewarded. I want to go to stay in Apia. 
Oi. Alô, mas as coisas ali não foi pia. Ele aí assim me faz pegar, vai pegar de pia. Alô, filho, muda lá vai ele fale. Aí sei a. Ele aí não pia, ele aí não. I feel very ashamed that my auntie has told my mother. My mother says our pier is a bad place for a young girl such as myself. She thinks I will spend all my time around picture theatres and other such places of entertainment. Although the Mutai are the ones who make nearly all of the decisions, it is often the women who have to carry them out. That is why the wife of a Mutai is called the Faletua, which means the back of the house. There is a famous story in Samoa about the people of a village who decided to build a new Fale. It was agreed that the men would do half the work and the women the other half. To this day, people can pass this fale and see the results of this work. The women's half is finished, the men's is not. Tonight I must talk with my father about leaving. He will understand. Tato we for matalo ile tua. Lo mato to mapa yae. Mato to evala wina lo sua fa ile nei tula. Mato to fa malo lo tfo ono se mang salam solingo to la fono o mato fai. Fam nia lo mato nu u ato yo no ta ta yo lava ye wa pito fa tova. Male nei fo yae. Mato talo le ala ilo suafa Yesu Kiliso lo mato li malo mato faola Amen Mula saya pula pemfain nak buat fain kalau yang faham format ia dia. Lea, ini tahu nak elut je. My father does not want me to go to Apia to be a nurse. There is no suitable place for me to stay. He says my first duty is here with my family to help my mother and the children. There is also the work with him in the plantation. He says it would be better for my future to go and serve the pastor and live in his house. That is his answer. He doesn't want me to go.
have learned that our Samoan culture is more than 2,000 years old. In all that time, the most important thing has always been the family, the Ainga. This has always been the center of our life. When I first heard that my Ainga wished me to stay, I was sad for a while. It seemed a very hard thing. However, I am happy to accept what they wish. It is best that I remain here to serve them and give love and support to my grandfather. This is the way we have always done things. Ta 